Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and I'm a makeup artist and in this video I'm going to show you how you can apply eyeliner on sensitive eyes. Now I'm going to share also some tips and tricks that I came along while also battling with sensitive eyes and so hopefully this can also help some of you guys. And so I'm going to start off with an eyeliner pencil as I also believe that this is the trickiest area where you can tear up, where it can tickle or feel uncomfortable. Now my main point about getting an eyeliner pencil is make sure that it's comfortable. Because there are so many eyeliner pencils outside on the market that are very stiff, some are very creamy, some are like, you know, like you get the different formulas and they also claim different things. So I have like a very usual black eyeliner pencil, it's a cold pencil, and those are very, very creamy, but they also stay put. And the way how you can see if it's comfortable is that if you are nearly not touching your skin on the back of your hand, but it still will add some color, this means that it is going to be very soft and very gentle also on your eye area if you're going to use it. Then there's also another tip that I wanted to share with you and this is make sure that the pencil isn't too sharp. Depending on where you want to use it, for the waterline or also above the lashes, you want to make sure that it's not going to sting your eyes. So the sharper the tip, the more uncomfortable it will be. And so this one has a very rounded tip and I personally would like to sharpen it just a bit. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to sharpen it but not too pointy. So, and this way you can see it has a tip. It is also a little bit more precise at the top right here. But then before you're going to apply it on your eyes, just use it on the back of your hand to soften the tip so that it will be rounded again, but still you have a little bit more precision, which is really important if you're going to use it depending on what eye makeup look you want to create or when you want to use it. Then there's also one tricky area, which is the waterline. Now, using eyeliner on the waterline can be really uncomfortable. Some people tear up, others can't really keep their eyes open and they blink all the time. Now there's one way that I wanted to show you how you can avoid having that um, blinking effect all the time so that you can apply it evenly on the waterline if you want to use it. And this is for um, bottom and top. Now most people like to do it for the bottom, which I totally understand. So one th tip is that if you're going to use the eyeliner, make sure that you're looking to the opposite direction. So let's say I'm going to apply it towards the outer corner. Then don't forget to pull down your lid and I'm, pull, and I'm looking into this direction until I'm reaching the middle. And this way I did not see the eyeliner pencil coming to the eyes and it's not going to distract me that I'm having the fear that I have to blink. Now the same goes for the other side. If I wanted to use it for the inner corner, I'm looking towards the outer corner. And this way you have an easier application which feels way more comfortable because you do not actually see the eyeliner pencil on your eyes. And then because I've used still a very pointed tip but it's not sharp, it's also going to glide on and it feels comfortable. I know that if you have an eyeliner pencil that's very very th like thick and not so stiff in texture, you really have to get it on the waterline otherwise you won't see a color. I definitely would stay away from those, even though they say that they are waterproof and they stay put, but they are just so uncomfortable on the waterline itself because it's very sensitive around that area. Now, one thing is also that while you're going to apply the eyeliner pencil and you're going to tear up, don't forget that you have cotton tips. And you can use them, especially if you're going to tear up right here. This is normally the first uh, like tear that would come up. So what you can do is, so that you're not going to mess up your eye makeup look, you're going to hold the cotton tip right here. And then this way it's just going to suck those tears up and you won't mess up your eye makeup look. Then also, if you're going to use the eyeliner pencil, make sure, especially also if you're wearing contact lenses as myself, then right here like with the camera, it's a little bit more trickier. So I really have to pull it down. 
but if you are in front of a larger mirror just use your like both of your hands pull it down and then use it for the application so that you're not going to touch your eyeball especially also not your contact lenses because this is such a disgusting feeling if you are going to touch the Iona Panzer with your contact lenses and it moves around which is definitely not what's supposed to happen so make sure that you're really pulling down that lid so that it's like basically staying away from your eyeball and this way you won't have that many irritations. Now I also wanted to move on to um, a gel eyeliner which basically or cream eyeshadow so that it stays put. So when it comes to using either gel eyeliner, liquid eyeliner or pencil eyeliner also above the lashes if you want to do a wing or just like following the lashes to um, shape your eye shape then you can also you are better off with a comfortable brush and also a gel or cream eyeshadow that's going to dry this one is now a cream eyeshadow and once i'm going to apply it it stays put so this is also a comfortable way on how you can use it to define your eye so that you can also shape your eye instead of using a liquid liner because some liquid liners with either a felt tip or with uh, the little hairs that looks like a brush it can be a little bit uncomfortable. First, it can tickle, depending on how sensitive you are, or it can also um, basically be very uncomfortable because you have that very fine tip right here and you don't know if you're going to make it into the eye or if you're going to get it onto the skin. So a better way to achieve a beautiful look and like having not the fear of getting it into your eye is using a bit of gel or cream eyeshadow and also a brush that's still flat but still has also a little bit more of a density so that you are able to feel where you are with the brush so i'm going to show you what i mean by that so i'm just going to take a bit i'm going to follow the lash line and so i'm going to close my eyes but I'm going to use the lashes as a support so that I'm not getting it into the eye. I'm going to use it very gently and use little strokes. You are not in a hurry. And this way it feels so soft and comfortable on the eyelid area that if you have sensitive eyes, you don't have to worry. And you can use your own pressure and your own speed of applying it. And now I've created a liner above the lashes with a very comfortable brush that's soft but still has a bit of density so that I'm able to create a nice line as well as using something as a material that's also very comfortable on the eyelid area. So what's really important if you have sensitive eyes make sure that it feels good on the skin test it on the back of your hand have a look at the, some of the ingredients make sure that there aren't uh, parabens in it something that can also cause irritation i would say that nowadays with some eye products they are getting into more of a safer space than back in time because they didn't know better but make sure that you're always looking out feeling it on the skin testing it around the eye area before you're going to wear it for a whole day and then if you like it if you can uh, cope with it, this is the best way. And of course, the more you're going to repeat it, the more you're getting used to the feeling and the less your eyes are getting sensitive. I used to tear up quite a lot every time I would put the eyeliner on the waterline. Now it's still sometimes happening, depending on what products that I used. But with me, I figured out the, com the more comfortable it feels around the eyes, the less sensitivity I'm getting. So this is something that's also a very key point of the whole process. So make sure that you're finding something that's comfortable for you. Now, those are the tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you. And also do hope that you enjoyed this video. That was helpful for you. And yeah, I mean, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as well as share it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.